What's up everyone, welcome to FilmSpot, and today we will be talking about the best upcoming movies. With a star-studded cast and acclaimed writer-director Christopher McQuarrie at the helm, Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1 promises to deliver all the excitement and thrills that fans have come to love. In the latest images released by EW, we get a first glimpse of Pon Klementiev's new villain, who is set to team up with Isai Morales as a malevolent force that Ethan must overcome. Alongside Clementiev, Haley Atwell and Shea Wiggum join the franchise as characters on the government side of the conflict, with Henry Cherney reprising his role as Eugene Kittredge. Director McQuarrie hints at an intense showdown between Cruz and the new villains, promising that the film will be filled with the high-stakes action scenes that Mission Impossible is known for. And with Cruz himself performing a jaw-dropping motorbike stunt in Norway, it's safe to say that audiences will be on the edge of their seats. The opening night of CinemaCon 2023 saw Sony Pictures make a splash with a lineup of exciting announcements that had attendees buzzing with anticipation. Will Smith and Martin Lawrence, who are currently filming Bad Boys 4, set the tone for the evening with a lively and engaging taped message that had everyone laughing. While Smith joked about being paid to be on set rather than attending the event, he still expressed his excitement for the upcoming movie, mentioning that they were four weeks into filming and everything was looking spectabulous. Next up, Sony gave attendees an exclusive preview of the highly anticipated animated movie, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. The sneak peek, which showcased the first 14 minutes of the film, was introduced by co-director Kemp Powers and featured the voices of Shamik Moore, Issa Rae, and Haley Steinfeld. The sequence followed Miles Morales and Gwen on an exciting adventure, featuring the same trippy, multicolor animation style as the first movie, and left the audience eagerly anticipating the full release on June 2nd. Sony Motion Picture Group president Stanford Panich then introduced the first teaser trailer for the Marvel film Craven the Hunter, which stars Aaron Taylor Johnson. While Taylor Johnson was unable to attend the event, the teaser was met with a positive response from the audience and is set to be a hit when it releases on October 6th. Finally, Sony premiered the trailer for Neil Blomkamp's Gran Turismo, a PlayStation adaptation featuring David Harbour and Orlando Bloom. Harbour, who initially had doubts about the project, joked about his skepticism during his introduction. The trailer showcased the story of Jan Mardenborough, a gamer turned race car driver, promising an exhilarating ride for audiences. Disney made a grand appearance at CinemaCon 2023, treating its fans to an abundance of exciting new details, clips, and trailers for their upcoming films. The first to be teased was Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, which is set to hit theaters on June 30th, 2023. At CinemaCon, Disney unveiled a brand new clip featuring the iconic adventurer Indiana Jones and his new sidekick Helena, played by Phoebe Waller-Bridge. In the clip, the duo chases down the villainous Jürgen Voller, played by Mads Mikkelsen, through the bustling streets of Tangiers, engaging in thrilling car chases and showcasing the duo's undeniable chemistry. Next was Elemental, an upcoming Pixar film that aims to explore the differences and similarities between the inhabitants of a city divided by the elements of fire, water, land, and air. Disney revealed a 20-minute extended look at the beginning of the movie, introducing us to the film's protagonist, Ember, and her family. The clip is full of heartwarming moments, showcasing the fiery Ember's quick temper and her interactions with the charming water resident, Wade. Wish, a new Walt Disney animation film set to hit theaters on November 22, 2023, was another highly anticipated film showcased at CinemaCon 2023. The studio announced that Chris Pine will be joining the cast as King Magnifico and also unveiled new footage from the film. The clip follows the film's protagonist, Asha, as she journeys through a beautiful island and sings a soulful song accompanied by a witty goat named Valentino. The showcase also featured exclusive clips from highly anticipated films like Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3, The Little Mermaid, and Haunted Mansion. Fans of the Guardians franchise were treated to an extended version of a scene featuring the beloved characters and settings we've known to come in love. Meanwhile, fans of The Little Mermaid got their first look at Melissa McCarthy's Ursula singing the iconic song Poor Unfortunate Souls. Lastly, the Haunted Mansion clip featured Owen Wilson and Lakeith Stanfield in some spooky situations, teasing what's in store for the upcoming film. Universal Studios brought the heat to CinemaCon 2023 with some epic sneak peeks of their upcoming movies. 
From heart-pumping action to hilarious animation, there was something for everyone to look forward to. Among the highly anticipated releases, we got a glimpse of Kung Fu Panda 4, Fast and Furious 11, and Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer. In Oppenheimer, we follow the story of the title character, played by Killian Murphy, who was a key figure in the development of the atomic bomb. Director Christopher Nolan shared with the audience the unique historical significance of the character, adding to the anticipation for this highly anticipated film. We were also promised a new trailer which will debut as part of the theatrical release of Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 with a July 21st release date. Fans won't have to wait too long to see this film in all its glory. DreamWorks also brought their A-game to CinemaCon with sneak peeks of Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken, and Trolls 3 band together. However, the real excitement was saved for Kung Fu Panda 4. The beloved hero Po faces his most treacherous opponent yet, the Chameleon. The badass sorceress can summon villains from the past, forcing Po to face them head on. But before he can do that, he must train his successor since he himself is set to become the new spiritual leader of the Valley of Peace. With Jack Black on board to voice Poe, fans can expect another hilarious and action-packed adventure when the film releases on March 8, 2024. The Fast and the Furious franchise is one of the biggest movie franchises in history, and it's not slowing down anytime soon. At CinemaCon, Vin Diesel and the cast announced that Fast X will continue with Part 2 hitting theaters in 2025. While the naming of the franchise has always been a bit unconventional, fans can't wait to see what the team behind the series comes up with next. But before we get to part 2, Fast and Furious 10, aka Fast X, is set to release in theaters on May 19th, 2023, promising to bring more high-speed chases, heart-stopping stunts, and an all-star cast to the big screen. The Warner Brothers Pictures Showcase at CinemaCon 2023 was nothing short of spectacular. The event saw the studio unveil trailers and extended footage for some of their highly anticipated films. Let's get into a quick rundown of some of the highlights. First up, The Flash's new trailer showcased Michael Keaton and Ben Affleck's Batman, as well as Sasha Kaye's Supergirl, and delved into the consequences of changing the past. The trailer offers a glimpse into the cost of success with the return of General Zod and emotional scenes between various characters. The Flash will be racing into theaters on June 16, 2023. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom also received an extended look, promising to blaze a trail forward into the new DCU. The footage introduced Jason Momoa's Aquaman with a new baby boy and showcased the Black Trident, a weapon said to possess power from a great evil. Yahya Abdul-Mateen II's Black Manta also made an appearance with a declaration to kill Aquaman and destroy everything he holds dear. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom is set to hit theaters on December 20th, 2023. Dune Part 2's director Denis Villeneuve also revealed the first footage for the upcoming film, which he described as an action-packed epic war movie. The footage showed Timothy Chalamet's Paul Atreides and Zendaya's Chani sitting together on dunes, and Austin Butler's Fade Rotha Harkonnen making his first appearance. The sequel will see Paul and his mother joining the Freeman tribe, attempting to earn their trust. The movie itself is scheduled for release on November 3, 2023. The much-awaited Barbie movie also revealed some new footage, showcasing our star dealing with the real world after growing up in a toy world. Ryan Gosling, who plays Ken, stole the show with his amusing statement about not understanding the character until he bleached his hair and shaved his legs. Barbie is set to hit theaters on July 21, 2023. Finally, Meg 2 The Trench showcased a new trailer featuring prehistoric creatures fighting on a beach and a Meg catching a T-Rex to prove its dominance. The trailer then jumps to the modern day with Jason Statham's Jonas and his team on a mission to stop the biggest Meg anyone has ever seen. Paramount Pictures gave us some exciting peeks into a thrilling lineup of upcoming movies at CinemaCon 2023, all of which promise to be must-see experiences for fans of animated and family-friendly films. One of the biggest highlights of the presentation was the announcement of Transformers 1, the first animated Transformers film to hit theaters in almost four decades. Directed by Josh Cooley, the movie features an all-star voice cast that includes Chris Hemsworth, Brian Tyree Henry, Keegan-Michael Key, John Hamm, and Lawrence Fishburne. 
With a release date set for July 19th, 2024, we can hardly wait to see what new adventures and epic battles await their favorite Autobots and Decepticons. And of course, how can we not talk about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem? Producer Seth Rogen took the stage in a green suit to share his passion for the franchise and his desire to introduce a new generation of kids to the Turtles. With a focus on capturing the authentic dialogue and relationship between the Turtles, the movie promises to be a fun-filled ride that fans of all ages will enjoy. And with an animation style that features brush strokes and stop-motion aesthetics, this is one movie that promises to be a visual feast as well. For those who love their movies with a heavy dose of cuteness, Paw Patrol The Mighty Movie is set to hit theaters on September 29th. The movie will see the beloved pups embark on their biggest adventure yet, with new celebrity voices joining the cast, including Chris Rock, Taraji P. Henson, and even Kim Kardashian and her kids. While only a rough cut trailer was shown, fans can expect a heartwarming story that is sure to delight young and old alike. But that's not all, Paramount Pictures also announced a fourth Spongebob freaking Squarepants movie, titled The Spongebob Movie Search for Squarepants, set to hit theaters on May 23rd, 2025. Directed by Derek Dryman, the movie promises to take fans on a wild ride through the depths of the ocean as Spongebob faces off against the ghost of the Flying Dutchman. And last but not least, fans of the Avatar franchise will be thrilled to hear that a trilogy of movies based on Avatar The Last Airbender is in the works. With the first movie set to hit theaters on October 10th, 2025, fans can expect a blend of anime and CG animation that promises to expand on the beloved world created by the original series. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.